everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to kit up my bubblegum spaniel. Uh, and I'm doing this one for uh, Mindy, Mindy's Diamond Moments uh, on YouTube's challenge of Pink October. Um, I'll put full details down below. I'm sorry, I, I know she's doing it in collab with uh, somebody else. And uh, yeah, I just suddenly thought, oh yeah, I'll kit this one up now while I think about it. Um, this is Diamond Art Club um, and it is only a partial, it is only the Spaniel and the Teacup and the Marshmallows that are diamond painted but it is the first Diamond Art Club that I've done. Um, I did do an unboxing on it quite a while ago now, I think it was possibly last year, I'm not sure um, and I've just not got around to doing it so I'm going to do it for Mindy's pink event um, because it is very very pink okay so let's get on with getting it up it's one of the older kits so the uh, actual stickers are just one big sticker they've not been uh, die cut they've not been cut out already so I will need to cut, the, cut those out and put them onto my stickers I've got all my diamonds in my little pouch here okay put those out ready to do. I've still got my tool kit in here look um, and I've still got my sticker in here as well So and the little leaflet with the discount code I just kept it all together um, as I say I'm going to see what all the hype is about Diamond Art Club and see if what everybody says is true I don't disbelieve people but I do like to see things myself and see how things are from my own point of view okay so I've got my little 30 bottle container storage so let's get a pair of scissors and get these stickers put onto here uh, it's 27 colours so I'll cut these out of here oh I'm actually using the stickers rather than uh, doing oh no what shall I do I'll cut up this part first so that I've only got one little bit to cut when I put them on the uh, stickers I say the new ones now actually are like die cut so they've already been cut through which is very nice of them okay so I'll just cut through these just makes it easier to get them off as I'm doing them okay so I hope everybody's doing okay um, are you taking part in any events at the moment um doing drills and chills for now um, I didn't get to, to take part in the chuck along although I am looking at doing the next one um, a lot of the chuck pinsons I do like them but they do tend to be more um, American landscapes and if I did a big landscape to put on my wall um, and spent the money on it and the time on it making it then I think I would like it to be more of an English landscape, you know, little country cottage and things like that. Um, there are a couple that I've got my eye on. I, I, you know, I do like them. I think he's a very, very talented artist. Um, so, yeah, so I'm looking at having a go at doing that for next year. So, how am I going to do this? Let's see. By the power of magic, no, by the power of video editing. Um, I was spending so long trying to faff about, trying to get these stickers off and trying to unstick them from this page that um, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to photocopy it and use my Zyron sticker maker like I normally do. <laughs> so that's what I've done. <laughs> so I will put those in there. Just uh, will it fit in. Yeah, put that on up. Oh, I'm going to have to fold it. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. And that bit of paper in there. And not mess about with those. Life is too short to spend half an hour trying to pick stickers off the backs. I think I've done it the wrong way around. But anyway, so now they're on. <laughs> so I've got that bit out of the video. <clears throat> so you didn't have to see that. Okay. So yeah, I've got bubblegum spaniel to do, which is really pretty. I love these flumps, we call them. I think they're marshmallows, but we call them flumps. They're like a soft marshmallowy um, 
sweet i could just eat one of those now actually getting a bit peckish right so we want a tray just in case we spill any and this is my uh, hatfield designs diamond tray oops just get that open has a lid save spilling and uh, yeah it uh, has a little spout there as well but this is in my nice shiny satin hot pink hot pink so it goes with this as well so i'll be using it right we need a pair of scissors and we need the drills so let's start off with the smaller ones first and see where we go so this is different so this is uh, all dmc numbered so they're all in dmc Oh, they're not even in order, are they? I think they just do one with small bags and ones with big bags. So I've put these all in number order. Um, the main thing that I did notice, actually, was that the stickers fit, if you put them on straight, stick uh, fit exactly on the little pots, which is a thumbs up uh, quite often they don't. So we want number three, two, one. So these will be in DMC number and number order as well. Okay. So this is different for me. I've never kitted up a Diamond Art Club one before. Never done a Diamond Art Club one before. So we like to try lots of things new. Okay, so yeah. And these are resin drills. So that's the first one. Let's look at the next one. I could do with a little bag for rubbish. My bin's full. I've been tidying up today, so it's quite full. So three, eight. Two six. I have to excuse me. I'm a little bit tired today, so my eyes aren't brilliant. Okay. And let's oh, come out of the packets nice, no static. So, mm. Okay, and let's look at the next one. Six oh one. Oh, we've got a six 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 in this as well. Six one. Let's see whether they all fit in these pots. Oh, hot pink! Look, hot pink in a hot pink tray with a lot of hot pink. How many ABs did this have? Just got one AB, which is number one, which is a, a white one. So I might have to add some hot pink ABs onto this one. And Eight one nine. Yeah, I think it needs a few more ABs. With it being a partial, I suppose you know they're done for a price, and uh, maybe decided it was pink enough. But I do feel as though I want to put some nice hot pink, and I have got some pink ABs. So we'll get those done. Three three seven one. Yes, I hope everybody's doing okay, as I say, I know there's uh, quite a bit going on in the world at the moment. Uh, our weather's not, oh, 666, six, six. it could be 999. Nine, nine. <laughs> uh, there's quite a bit going on in the world at the moment, so I hope everybody's managing to stay safe and stay well. Our weather is doing funny things at the moment. September, and they keep telling us we're going to have this massive storm. Uh, but we didn't have the massive storm. It didn't reach us. Uh, we've got a little bit of rain, but nothing to speak of. So it's been quite a nice warm day. I've got all the windows open to air the house through. I've put a little bit of... Uh, peppermint in the candle burner in the hope that it will keep any flies out because we are still getting quite a few flies and I don't like flies. Three, eight, five, where am I? Three, eight, five, six, that's the top one. I've chopped half of that one off but I can still see what it is. <laughs> okay. Lily is uh, downstairs with her dad at the moment, watching television. Uh, he's watching orangutans. 
so she likes anything animal related she will sit and watch and sometimes she'll have a quick savage of a teddy bear it's funny uh, none of our other dogs have watched television albeit um harvey we had a, a little west Island white terrier a little westy um every time coronation street came on he used to sit and howl at the theme tune so <laughs> Um, if you're not in the UK, Coronation Street is uh, our longest running uh, soap opera. It's been on about, I think, 60 years. Um, and it uh, yeah, has quite a nee, 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 type theme tune. And uh, yeah, our little Wesley used to just sit and go boom at it as while it came on. So that was quite fun. That was about as near as he got to uh, watching television. Uh, but I think it's possibly because now we've all got these flat screen TVs, so they look more realistic. And of course, they're mainly all HD now, so they're really. Um, oh, that was the AB, wasn't it? That I've just done. Yeah, white AB, nice. Uh, yeah, but I suppose when we had the big tellies in the boxes, the screens were like curved round, weren't they? So maybe dogs couldn't see them and they didn't look quite so real i suppose maybe televisions now look more like a window so i must admit millie does go and uh, have a look around the back to see where things have gone <laughs> it's uh, quite amusing to us oops just put that one in there and yeah but, uh, yeah we used to have a, an american cocker spaniel called sweep um that was much to the dismay of the lady who we bought him from. Um, she was the breeder. She was actually the lady that introduced American Cocker Spaniels into the UK. And uh, yeah, she, <laughs> she you know, had all these posh pedigree dogs with posh pedigree names. And um, we were originally going to call him George. But the more I looked at him, the more he just looked like Sweep off Sooty and Sweep. Um, so yeah, he ended up being sweep and she was quite horrified that one of her nice posh pedigree dogs was called sweep. <laughs> I'll put a picture of them um, in, in the comments uh, in the video and uh, if you don't know who Sooty and Sweep are, I'll see if I can find a picture of Sooty and Sweep as well. Um, I don't know how worldwide Sooty and Sweep are It was certainly um, They were like glove puppets Sweep never said anything and uh, Sorry, Sooty never said anything um, And Sweep just squeaked But I'm sure if I show you the pictures You'll uh, understand why But yeah, he was completely uh, the, the biggest Soppiest dog Honestly, he, he just used to Slobber everywhere And uh, he just loved cuddles And uh, our kids were young when we had him and um, they used to dress him up every time we had the uh, Christmas tree out and um, he used to get Christmas baubles round his ears and round his neck and he just used to sit there and let everybody do it. Uh, he just wasn't bothered whatsoever, he just loved any attention, didn't like being on his own. Um, Harvey was uh, the little Westie, he was very independent and didn't like being dressed up and just used to go and get hidden and uh, so yeah sweep would do anything and he was very food orientated so you could train him to do anything as well and, uh, i actually had them um, the two dogs before i, I met my hubby and uh, so it was quite an eye opener to him and um, i think one of the first times that we were in the uh, slept together in the same bed. Uh, he woke up in the morning and uh, sweep the spaniel <laughs> with his head on the pillow, looking at him. <laughs> uh, dear, and he just said, um, "Liz, uh, have you got a really furry face, or have I got a dog in bed with me?" <laughs> I said, "Oh yeah, he does like to be in and." Uh, Whereas Harvey, with him being a little terrier, 
he used to sleep at the bottom of the bed and he used to keep guard. Um, but Sweek would literally be in the bed with you and he'd be under the covers and just have his head on the pillow, just like a person. Um, yeah, so he was always really, really funny. We always used to say that uh, when he wagged, it was his tail that was still and his whole body was wagging. Because it just sort of like, just a move. He was just really, really fussy, really funny dog. Uh, sadly, we lost him fairly early on because um, he broke his leg. And uh, we took him to swimming lessons. He learned to swim so that he could walk properly again. So that was something different to do. Teaching a dog how to swim in like a hydrotherapy pool. Uh, that was quite good fun. Uh, oh, ten, I can't find it. Can't see for looking. But uh, yeah, sadly, he yeah. It was only about ten, I think, when he passed over the Rainbow Bridge. And he did uh, think he was human. He liked to come everywhere with us. And, Harvey just used to follow on looking as if to say, oh no, what's he up to now? <laughs> One, four. Okay, oh, it is different doing them in um, a different order. I'm used to the numbers sort of like all just going along. I'm having to uh, think about this. This is strange. Yeah, we used to have um, three cats as well. Well, I had three cats before um, I met Hubby he's allergic to cats sadly so I can't have uh, cats anymore but uh, yeah when I got my um we got a well one of <laughs> it's funny one of my friends um lost her cat and she was looking all over for it it was a black cat and she lost uh, sorry lost him what was he called was he called Sooty I can't remember what she called him now but he went missing and obviously the children were heartbroken anyway one day he kind of turned up and we thought oh good we found him and he gave birth to kittens <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it wasn't their cat at all their cat was a tomcat a boy cat um, and the cat that turned up that they thought was theirs uh, was actually a little girl cat that was pregnant and she had four kittens and uh, yeah, so that was quite fun to <laughs> explain to the children. <laughs> the youngest, he wasn't very old, bless him. And uh, he just kept telling all his friends that his boy cat had had kittens. And the people would say, well, boy cats can't have kittens. Well, mine has. <laughs> so yeah, that took a bit of explaining because of course they didn't want to tell the children that uh, their cat was still missing because you know they were heartbroken about it it's not nice if you lose an animal um, <laughs> yeah so they had to go along with it for a while that um, their cat their boy cat had kittens I think in the end they said oh they'd, they'd been mistaken and uh, their cat really was a girl but uh, yeah so we ended up with one of those kittens but oh dear it was, uh, we called it her Gemma and she was a little girl and yes she was a little girl um, and the dogs absolutely loved her sweep um, with him being a gun dog, with him being a spaniel he just used to pick her up all the time and carry her around um, as soon as he saw her that was it, it was like he adopted her and uh, yeah she had a permanently soggy head and neck because he, he just used to uh, pick her up and carry her about but of course, spaniels have really, really soft mouths, so you know, it didn't hurt her at all. He just picked her up as though he was like a mum picking her up, and she just used to sort of like brace herself and think, Oh no, here we go again. So, I think for about the first uh, three months that we had little Gemma, she was just permanently soggy, and he just used to pick her up and take her to bed and put her in his basket and lick her and look after her. Oh dear, it was. Yeah, she was really, really funny. She thought she was a dog, though, with being brought up with the dogs. She used to come for a walk with us on a night. Um, she used to be walking along walls and things next to us. We used to have to make sure we didn't go anywhere near main roads. Because, obviously, we didn't put a collar and lead on her with being a cat. But, uh, 
yeah she just used to follow along with us and come on our walks with us with the dogs and then when we used to have the fire on um when it was cold we used to have the uh, two dogs and the cat laid on the fireplace uh, sorry on the fire uh, mat and um, all washing one another it was quite sweet to see so uh, we used to have a few uh, sort of Tom and Jerry moments as well because so we had one fireside chair well we had to, uh, several fireside chairs but we had one that um, both the dogs and the cat liked and they used to fight over this chair and it was mainly Harvey because Sweep was too daft to play games um, and Harvey would be asleep on the chair and Gemma would sneak in underneath the chair yeah, and you would just see this paw come up, smack him on the head really hard and she'd go running out the door and he'd go running out the door after her and then she'd sneak back in and get on the chair. But when she was on the chair, she used to lay there and her tail used to hang off it. So Harvey would sneak in underneath the chair, bite her tail, run out, she'd run out after him <laughs> and then he'd come back in and get on the chair. <laughs> oh dear, it was just fun alive in our house when we had all the animals and the uh, dogs. Oh dear. Yeah, Sweep used to just sit and look at them as if to say, what on earth are you doing? But the fight over this one chair. Why one of them couldn't go in one chair and the other couldn't go on another chair, I've no idea. But they both always just wanted one chair. All right, I'm on to the last one. Goodness me. And this is a really nice hot pink and it does really match, match really. Will all these go in here? Ooh, no, they're not all going to go in, so I'll need another pot. So that's 604. Let me grab a label. Okay, so we've got some spare pots. And we'll write on there. That one's number 13, which is 604. And we'll put the rest of them in here. So we've not done so bad. We've only needed one spare pot. Okay, that's that one. Right, so we are all kitted up and ready to go. So it doesn't start till October. So I've got ready quite uh, quickly on this one. But it doesn't harm to be prepared. As we used to say in the gal guides. Okay, put my tray back away. And that's my little bubblegum spaniel all kitted up. Okay, well that's me done then for now. So thanks for joining me. Hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, if you just give uh, me a little like. And if you want to see this one uh, completed and see what I get up to next, then if you press the subscribe button and the little bell next to it, you'll be notified when my next video has come up. But thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.